Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Rocco coming at you with a special video. Uh, I'm sure you can already see by the title, we are pulling a trailer today. Uh, this is going to be the first time, well, second time technically, first time making a video of pulling this trailer. Uh, we're just going into town and we're going to go pick up a couple metal shelves at this spot. And uh, yeah. So before I get into the drive, I just wanted to, uh, this is the day after AI day, I just want to kind of give a couple thoughts. First of all, AI team, if you're watching, as always, I appreciate you so much. I'm always going to be critical of everything. Obviously, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes in the back. I want to make that very clear. Whenever I'm being critical, obviously, I'm probably pretty ignorant about what's going on um, in the back of, uh, behind the scenes. I just have my preferences of what annoys me the most everyone does and so you'll hear me complain about the speed limits or any of that stuff like that but as always regardless of what i say i always appreciate the autopilot team the ai team the optimist team the future is looking bright and uh you guys and gals are doing doing um work that no one else will so i much appreciate it but yeah we're gonna see how this does uh this is the um Well, for once it turned the blinker on when it had the freaking trailer on the on the car. Okay. Okay, so it braked. It's a, coincidentally, we have people coming on the, the highway. It's braking here again. Oh, it's probably braking because of that semi truck next to me. Oh, perfect freaking timing. I should have removed my sweater. I didn't realize it was going to be so hot in here. Um, but what I want to say is I have, I'm just going to be completely transparent with everyone. This is the third time I've ever pulled the trailer. <laughs> the second time being the day I bought it. Um, so just want to be transparent then the first time was I uh, it was just a test run when I put my hitch on with my uncle's uh, enclosed trailer um, so my experience is very limited so I'm gonna be overly cautious and I will disengage where I feel necessary um, I do want to track efficiency as well this is um, I do you know, just to make see what my efficiency is gonna be and wow 35 it was more it was almost that much this morning so lane changes still work um, I don't again I don't have automatic lane changes on on the highway and I would um, while trailer is definitely not recommended by Tesla I'm trying it out at my risk if you will and um, I have not seen any problems so far. The only thing is the rear ultrasonics are having some issues. And uh, uh, occasionally thinks there's a car directly behind me. But otherwise, not a problem. For context, this is a 5x8 utility trailer from Lowe's. It's a carry-on trailer. Uh, it's the next-gen model if you're really that interested. It has 13-inch... Uh, not radials, it's the, it's the ply tires, it's whether it's the worst quality tires, if you will. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna, because uh, I wanted to keep a consistent like efficiency number, we're gonna go the speed limit. Um, so it's 55 in this section here, and then speeds back up to 65. So this trip is gonna be basically the same. Uh, I haven't done this in quite a while, but it's gonna be 98% the same as um, another trip I take. So I'm going to just tag this in on that playlist uh, so you can see how the car performs with and without a trailer. And we're going to just 
you know, kind of cruise here and see how it does. Okay, so we're about to get off the highway right here. I'm going to see how it changes lanes. Quick note, I'm leaving the gate up purposely for the efficiency numbers. It's a little bit windy today. It's in the lower mid-60s, sunny obviously. So I just try to keep details of efficiency uh, and just you know how everything performs. So So again, with a trailer, the trailer's not loaded. The trailer only weighs like 430 pounds or something like that. Okay, so it's gonna get in this lane. So, okay, it wanted to like last second get over into that left lane. And so that wasn't good with that truck being there, obviously. Also, I, like once it picks a lane, it needs to stay in it, you know? It can't just, meander back over and that that's a behavior that could have happened without the trailer so it's hard to tell like what's the trailer how does it affect the car you know um and just for warning the, without a trailer it has failed this turn here so we're gonna see how it performs um with the trailer okay Used to do a nice wide turn. Would you look at that? Even with the trailer, it did it great, better than it did without the trailer. So obviously either it got lucky this time or it got unlucky last time. So this is the lane we need to stay in. There's a red light up ahead and it needs to already be braking. I hope like this is something the team is working on. Obviously they have to, like, they're working on this. It's, it's clear. Um, they already recognize his brake lights. It just probably doesn't have the logic yet to say, hey, I see brake lights up ahead. Let's start slowing down. They might have just have started that and it's kind of in there, but most of the time it just doesn't. Um, so obviously they're going to work on that. So I, I'm really glad they have these uh, AI day presentations to really help understand what's going on. Obviously, I am not an AI expert. I'm not machine learning. I don't, I hardly know how to program, but I know enough to understand the basics. The hardware side is what I know the best, like the uh, dojo side. That's why I, what I understand the best. I like, that's just my, my, I wouldn't call it specialty, but um, uh, that's what I'm best at, is just understanding hardware and how it works. So it's just, incredibly impressive stuff what they're doing and it's just it's it's great to be able to see the progress and like just see the future happening in front of us like these that group the group of people that are there you uh, if you if you haven't watched AI Day go, go ahead and watch it it's great oh well even if you don't understand what's going on it's still good to put faces faces with the people who are like actually making this software work you know it's, it's good to do that. It's, it's too bad I'm not able to meet any of them. Maybe one day. Um, but I uh, appreciate it. Kind of. So it definitely didn't make, make a turn there. Also, let's turn on this camera right here. Um, I like to say I can live through Chuck Cook um, in terms of uh, being thankful for uh, everything they've done. Uh, Chuck d deserves. Uh, a lot of praise for the amount of work he's done, and, and um, and uh, praise for the aut autopilot team at that, especially. He praises them every single day in every single video. Great turn, great turn. So I'm a little bit hesitant. Like I said early in the video, this is the first time, well, third time I've ever towed a trailer, so I don't have my like, I don't have my situational awareness like I. Like you do the normal car, and you have an extra, you know, ten, probably eleven feet behind me. So, also look, there's a there's a police car waiting here. Just in interesting, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have like another eleven feet or so uh, behind me, so I have to be aware how the car is turning. You know what, like how it's changing lanes, especially. You know that's that's really critical. Um, I, there is a right turn coming up ahead, and so that's going to be iffy how this is this is going to go. 
Okay, so it's gonna make a turn there. I wonder if we can get it to go. I'm not gonna change the route. So the route we would normally do is coming down this road and take a left there. I'm gonna let it follow the route while still driving. Because it'll be, again, mostly the same. Again, the only difference is we're taking this road versus this road. So I thought, okay, I pressed the accelerator to keep it from slowing down as much right there. I thought it was going to mess up. I think last time I came through this route, I don't think I recorded the video. Oh, uh, you need a break. So again, um, the trailer's not very heavy, so it's not, it doesn't really affect my braking very much, but if it was loaded, it would. And so, and I probably wouldn't be using full self-driving, to be honest. Um, well, like heavily loaded. But, um, yeah, so it, it got this correct this time. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, so that was wrong. <laughs> I'm going to do a snapshot whether or not that's going to be helpful or not. I uh, probably should have disengaged, if I'm going to be honest. Um, but we made it. Uh, <laughs> to get in this so that's right come on don't now don't don't mess east don't mess yourself up so actually i think we're supposed to be going up another lane but we'll just uh we'll just follow navigation i think i'm i think i'm supposed to be actually coming down this lane but we're just going to follow navigation okay Trailer's so lightweight, and these tires are probably. Right they really are. Like, the research I've done, they're like the cruddiest tires ever. Ooh, I don't know what's going on here, but that, that doesn't look right. It's like the whole entire intersection was like the. Um, what should we call it? It was the lane. I thought the whole intersection was the lane. Okay, let's see how it does at this turn. It's so loud. <laughs> now turn right onto South Washington Street. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it went over the curb a little bit, but I could have made that mistake too. Um, so yeah, this is where we're going. Actually, crap, I'm supposed to go there. I'm gonna go make a U-turn around. Um, wow, why are there so busy here today um, so that was the end of that drive I actually go to Habitat to pick up a couple of shelves I bought but um, yeah everyone so I'm trying to make final comments so as I pay attention where I'm going um, but um, so yeah it's your disengagement with a trailer that's that's freaking awesome like really awesome know that's it's just <laughs> I, I expected it to have issues but there's not a single one the only thing you can see look this it shows up a car right here behind me occasionally um, and it has the ultrasonics on the back you know so like hopefully this is some good data like I, I don't ever expect it to be able to tow I, I don't think they'll they're ever gonna allow it to tow with our car Cybertruck yes maybe maybe I am I, not planning on it to be able to tow but um yeah <laughs> i i yeah let's let's park here hey okay, everyone um so that was great um tell me what you think tell me what you think down below um i actually expected to have a lot worse than that so this exceeded my expectations as good if not better than a human uh we uh yeah let's start a conversation down below everyone what do you think I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.